Hi, my name is Ray, and I'm just giving you my experience of the DJI Spark in tripod mode. I'm trying to give it, keep it to as low as the floor as I can, uh, at four different levels, three down and one up. Here you can see the sharpness and blades of the grass, so it's not as bad as people say it is. Uh, my first mistake is coming now, I should have gone straight down, lower to the ground, where I carried on going, but I make up for that. Uh, there's a lot of uh, jittering going on here, and that's me again. It probably might be a little bit of DJI, but it's something for me to learn and uh, master and get used to. My turnings are not as good as it should be. Well, give me time, and um, this is with everybody. We should all practice this. So that was my second layer. So now I'm going down to the third layer. And again, I should have went down straight down, but I carried on going. Uh, I realised this while I was doing it, so I actually go down and then pull it back to get some effect on it. But it would have been better if I would have went down straight away. Again, it's just all experience for everybody who starts this. As you see, it's coming down now, and I'll probably pull it back. But again, uh, the jitter of the pulling of the stick going left to right, not happy with and Something for me to practice more on. You can see the effect better now when you can see it's low, when you can see the rocks. Even when I'm pulling back, but when I try and turn it to go through, I wanted to go over where the grass was, but I was too scared in case I had one, I hit a rock and fell in the water because the weather was shocking there. Uh, I didn't want them, one of the rain to start. Two is it to hit the grass or the rock and end up going to water and then losing another spark. I've already lost one in the States. And that's why I called this spark Lazarus um, because it's returned from the dead. And after all the rain that I had in Scotland, I spent four days in Scotland and each day for 23 hours it rained. So now I think even though I bought it in the US, I'm going to call it the Rainmaker because I think American Indians must have made it. Now you can see the sharpness there. I still think it's quite sharp there uh, in the grass. So people say it's not, obviously when it turns and moves, the sharpness goes. But if you keep it steady without turning, which I haven't done all the time, I think it is quite sharp, and I'm you know, not worried about not being 4K, and this is like I'm going up onto my last layer, but still keeping it close to the ground. Uh, for my first attempt, I am quite happy with it, to be honest with you. Uh, see loads of faults, but I know where to put them uh, where to put them right, and that's a good thing. It's when you don't know what you're doing, um, like I did not first there. Now I can see where all the faults were. My next attempt, I hope, I'll get it right. So I'd like to say thank you for watching and uh, keep tuning